Good evening. Today is Thursday, August 31st, 2023. Is update for Friday the 1st. All right, let's go. Well, no setups going into tomorrow. We do have some shorts in here. If we weren't already short a home builder, I think I'd put a home builder on, and I'll show you some ideas here in just one second. We'll get to the portfolio, too. As you can see, once again, home builders are, lots of home builders are setting up. I wouldn't rush out and short this, this builders first, but it is kind of home builder uh, tangential or related you might say uh, DHI, you can see setup as a possible short in here. Let me throw the bow ties in so you can see it a little more clearly. Nice little bow tie down in those home builders. Let's take a look at a few more. So quite a few of these look like they're in trouble. I'll put KBH back on the list too. If you didn't take the original trade, then a re-entry below this low, a little higher than what we got in, maybe about 49 and then 54 would be your parameters on that if you're looking to take that trade. Uh, Lenar is another one of these uh, guys that looks like it's in a lot of trouble in here. Owen is a short in the semiconductors. Uh, let's just hold off for now for shorts in general, but we'll keep an eye on, on these areas just in case and really not much on the long side just yet. And if you take a look at the overall market, which we will in one second, the reason you see in these shorts is because the market sold off and the market pulled back. So that's why we're seeing these stocks, especially in the home builders performing in a similar manner or looking like the overall market. Let's take a look at the portfolio real quick and then we'll get to that overall market. First of all, KBH, kind of Flatsville in here, down a smidge, I suppose, better than the poke and the eye. Looks like it's stalling out a little bit in its rally. So this one still looks like it's in a lot of trouble. Obviously, so far, not so good as far as the short, shorts or our shorts are concerned. The, uh, the old adage always seems to come true, right? All shorts go against you, at least initially. KBH, not a bad day there. Not too far from all-time high, so so far so good. You know what I mean? When IPOs hit, I, uh, I love it when IPOs hit all-time highs because usually that's a good thing. Everybody who bought the IPO is happy, and it's hard for IPOs to have a lot of shorts uh, sans possible insiders who are allowed to short um, the IPO. Anyway, LFMD down a smidge in here after a nice little gap higher. Obviously, on your stops just in case. So far, just consolidating in this range. Hasn't anything wrong, but obviously hasn't anything right just yet. Let's take a look at the overall market and flesh out a few things. First of all, let's take a look at the P's. Like I said a second ago, you can see we had this thrust down and now this retrace. Now, I hate to use the word hold, but hopefully we don't stall in this retrace. And I sure would like to like to see us get back that 45 get back above that 45 50 and close the gap in here so stalling action is is not a good thing it's not the end of the world obviously let's just wait and see if we get some follow through but i am obviously paying attention to what's happening here any additional weakness would certainly be a bummer nasdaq ended higher but stalling out a little bit as you can see in its retrace rally rusty and just kind of gets sick of getting sick of talking about this thing stalling out a little bit right at this 50 day moving average so far Wide and loose and sideways as it has been forever. Let's take a look at the energies. All time highs yesterday coming right back in today. I sure would like to see some acceleration here. Yesterday kind of gave us a little bit of hope, and unfortunately, coming back in. Maybe we'll see some setups here soon on pullbacks. Let's just take things as usual, one day at a time. Foods break it down a little bit. Not that there's anything to rush out and, and short there. I just want to show you what's happening in some of these areas. Drugs coming back in. So this is really a bummer. So we're back to this just one big up day. Kind of one and done as far as that breakout if we come right back in below that level. That's why you don't want to get too excited too quickly. Manufacturing, unfortunately, stolen out right at these all-time highs. Let's back the chart out a little bit. And we're not too far past these prior peaks in here. So I sure would like to see some brand new highs there. MNC, as I've been saying, still looks like it's in trouble. As you can see, a bow tie, sharp bow tie into the moving average and already stalling out. That's a 50 simple. Already stalling out below that 50 simple. So those are kind of... It's kind of a double whammy so far. Obviously, a few big updates would negate that, but it sure looks like it's in trouble for now. Leisure, none of those areas looks like it's in trouble. As you can see, fairly sharp sell-off today. Bow tie, sharp angle once again into that 50 simple moving average. Good pattern to keep an eye on. Take a look at the transport. It's getting whacked in here pretty hard. And again, this has them stalling out at those previous peaks in here. So that looks like a major, major top so far at least keep an eye on a 50-day simple combined with this bigger picture pattern in here that might be a good little inflection point to know if they're out of trouble if they get back above it and stay above it then they might be okay but for now it looks like they're still in trouble software stalling out a little bit in its rally but so far looking okay coming back above 
are rallying back above those moving averages and those moving averages flip it back over or in the process of flipping over to the upside. See if we can have just only out a little bit. I sure would like to see them get past this prior peak. And of course, that would put them past this prior peak in here too if we did it so, if we did so decisively. So let's just see what happens here. I wouldn't get excited either way just yet, but based on the lack of momentum, I think it's important for these guys to make some new highs fairly soon. I think that's pretty much it for now. If you have any questions, you know the routine, and if you're not doing anything later tonight, I am doing a chart show, so love to see you there. If not, everybody have a fantastic night. We'll talk tomorrow. Thank you so much.